and welcome to Big and Small Screens, or as I like to call it, the base. And at the base, we drop it like it's hot. Now, I'm, I shouldn't have made that joke. I'm, I'm not cut out for it. I, I'm really not. So we'll just get right into it. Big and Small Screens. The name basically says it all. This is my little show where I talk about movies on the big screen, as in movie movies, and television shows on the small screen. And also anime as well, because that's shown on television, just not here in North America. Uh, it's also for shows that are on computer screens as well. I may delve from time to time and talk about um, YouTube shows, uh, stuff that is kicking around on the internet. Things of that nature that I find rather interesting. But today, today we're going to be talking about uh, three particular movies uh, based off of books. They are Terry Pratchett's live action movies for The Color of Magic, The Hogfather, and uh, Going Postal. First off, The Color of Magic. Now, as you can see, uh, from the wonderful little cover here, you've got Sean Astin on it. David Jason. David Jason is playing Rincewind. Uh, Sean Astin is playing Two Flower. Um, I'm not familiar with David Jason's work too much. Uh, just what I've seen in this one and one of the other Discworld novels or Discworld movies. But David Jason plays Rincewind wonderfully. He he really cuts right to the core of the character and. To see Sean Astin playing Two Flower, playing this this naive um, tourist just who doesn't think the world around is really going to affect him in any way, that everything is going to turn out right, it's it's fantastic. Now, The Color of Magic, um, this particular uh, movie is actually the first two books, uh, The Color of Magic and the Light Fantastic. That is what this spans. It spans that entire two books, from Two Flowers Arrival in The Color of Magic to Two Flower Going Home in The Light Fantastic, and all the fun little things that happen there. Naturally, there's some editing, there's some adaptation, because this isn't, uh, this isn't really, there's not enough time to do everything, but they, they definitely give it a shot. Uh, Tim Curry is also in The Color of Magic, which is quite nice since he's playing a dastardly evil wizard villain type. Then you have Terry Pratchett's Hogfather. Now, the Hogfather is the Christmas episode, the Christmas book, basically. Uh, <clears throat> it's all about the Assassin's Guild getting a commission from an otherworldly entity that wants them to kill the Hogfather. And they give it to one particularly disturbing assassin. One that the assassins find disturbing. So think about that for a minute. And he goes about killing the Hogfather. Now because the Hogfather is dead or dying or a mythical being, it's, it's all kind of complicated. So in order to kind of protect the world from ceasing to exist, to make sure the sun rises the next morning, death takes it upon himself to assume the role of the Hogfather, leaving his granddaughter, Susan, who you see here, uh, to pick up the slack and take care of business, because somebody has to do it, and she's quite capable of it. She's a governess. The two little children you see on the cover here are the two children that she is looking after. And she's a very no-nonsense, educated woman. So it's, it's quite interesting to see. Um, David Jason is also in this one, and I believe he plays Albert, Death's assistant in it, if I remember correctly. And finally, last but not least, we have Going Postal, the newest of the Discworld books to be made into a movie. And it is all about the man in the middle, in the wonderful gold suit, uh, Moist von Lipwig. Uh, not his real name. That's his new assumed name, because he's a con man. He conned a lot of people out of a lot of money, caused a lot of trouble. Only he got caught because he didn't count on the fact that 
the Ankhmore Pork City Watch had a werewolf in their payroll. And the lady that is the werewolf, that is Sergeant Anguna, in this particular movie is, uh, I did look her up, it's Ingrid, Ingrid Bolso Bernal. I've never heard of her before, never seen anything she's done other than this movie. But the small part she has in it as Sergeant Anguna, oh my god, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And speaking of perfect, Charles Dance, who some of you may know from um, this popular show, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, I guess he's on that. So if, if you guys like that, he's he's on this too, playing Lord Betanari, the patrician of Ankhmore Fork. And he plays that role to a T. He's absolutely fills the boots. There's there's no one else I can see as him at all. There's just no way anymore. There's also uh, a wonderful young lady, a uh, British actress. I can't remember her name off the off the top of my head. But she plays uh, Sacharissa Crisplock, the uh, reporter, lady reporter from um, the. Um, the book dealing all with uh, newspaper and movable print and all that good stuff. She's in here. Uh, Claire Foy is a British actress. I've seen her in a couple of minor things. But she's uh, Adora Bell Deerhart, the love interest of Moise. Andrew Sachs is playing Richard Gilt, who is, I mean, no, no, Andrew Sachs, listen to me. David Suchet, sorry, is playing Richard Gilt. And, yeah, if you can tell I'm gushing about this and these movies, it's because these three really are what Hollywood and a lot of other companies need to look to, to for, or for pointers. Because these ones take the books and they not only bring it to life on a bigger screen, bring it to life in live action, but they do it in such a way that honors the source material. There's still adaptations in this from the book. There's still things that happen in the books that don't happen in here or have been changed. But they still honor the books in the way they do it. It is an homage to them. So, yeah, I really think that uh, Hollywood and other such movie-making places needs to look to, to these and any more that's coming out. Speaking of more coming out, I did do a little research, and I noticed, I don't know if it's still in the works, um, if anything's going to be uh, different because of the fact that uh, Mr. Pratchett passed away a few months ago, if that's going to cause any tr trouble or problems with this. I don't know for sure. But there was talk, I believe, and rumor of a live-action television series based off of the Ankhmore Pork City Watch. With Sam Vimes, Carrot, Anguna, uh, little, or Cheery Bottom, and all those good people. I would pay good money to see that. I would absolutely love for them. I'm a big fan of police procedurals, crime dramas, and all that good stuff. So to see that sort of thing, but set in the disc world, oh, count me in for that. But that's all the time I have for this episode. So yes. I would recommend, if you haven't seen these, give them a look. And I throw it on the floor. Give them a look. Look them up. You can find them on Amazon. You can probably find them on, um, what is it, Big Sky or Acorn Media. There's, there's all kinds of places you can, you can find DVDs online. Look around for them. You might have to import them from the UK. Worth a little extra. Because not only are these great movies... But just to give you an idea, every single one of them, just over three hours long. So yeah, they put as much effort into these as they have the Lord of the Rings movies in terms of length and what they're willing to show. So give it a shot, and I'll see you next week.